Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your Severe Weather Outlook video for April 13th, 2019. Today we're going to be going over the severe weather outbreak and possibly tornado outbreak that's going to be going on today for portions of Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, and Arkansas, as well as going over the next few days of severe weather. Actually, kind of heading into early next week because we do have a, a bit of an idea of what's going to be going on uh, as far as kind of like the long-range severe weather forecast. But before I get started with that, I'd like to uh, look at my April forecast here. You can see I was predicting severe weather to be a little bit further east this year uh, in April and that so far that's panned out perfectly we've been getting a lot of severe weather for Mississippi Alabama Georgia Tennessee Louisiana and Arkansas and I was calling for that I wish I would have put this a little bit further south because it definitely would have verified a lot better that way but the fact that I was calling for more severe weather in the southeastern United States this year definitely has panned out so far and I'm quite proud of that now we're gonna be looking at today you can see we do have a moderate risk and I did mention that we do have a chance for moderate risk today I've been mentioning that for a couple of days and it did end up becoming a moderate risk and we're seeing a lot of reports of severe weather already today so it looks like this is going to be a big severe weather event possibly top five or ten uh, severe weather event of the year potentially today so be on the lookout if you're in Louisiana Texas Arkansas Mississippi especially uh, within our green regions we have two green regions you can see our dark green regions the light green region is general thunderstorm and usually we don't see any severe weather storm reports in those regions but it is possible so if you are in that region be on the lookout I wanted to mention one thing though before I get started with this video a lot of people mentioned that I should put a date stamp on the screen there actually is one if you look on the bottom left hand side of your screen you can see it says valid 13 Z Saturday to 12 Z Sunday so basically that means 8 a.m. Saturday to 8 a.m. Sunday Eastern Standard Time uh, and, and really it's gonna last so basically these last from the morning time of the day that they're forecasted for through the night into the next morning early next morning uh, so these last overnight so that's a really important thing to keep in mind usually people would assume that it's from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. but it's actually 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. so it lasts through the night but you can always pay attention that first day is the day of the severe weather and through that night so this one's for Saturday uh, you can see we do have a slight risk from Texas up through Tennessee, or actually I was going to talk about the marginal risk. We have one for South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and then one for the South Central United States. And then we have a slight risk within that from Texas up through Tennessee and back down through Alabama. Then we have an enhanced risk in the orange, and this is where we're getting a little bit more widespread with the severe weather. The marginals and the slights usually get some scattered reports of severe thunderstorms, but the enhanced is definitely a little bit more widespread. And then the moderate is for sure widespread. We do see reports usually uh, quite abundantly within these moderate categories so for texas louisiana arkansas and mississippi lookout we're going to be getting severe weather all over the place within that region and now we're going to look at the individual aspects of severe weather based on forecast for day one. First off we're going to look at our wind outlook again look at uh, uh, the bottom right first off you can see that's the percentages uh, and you can see on that on the screen as well and this is for within 25 miles of any given region within those little shapes there that you see so if you're in North Carolina right now within that 5% region there's a 5% chance of a wind damage report being reported within 5 miles of you uh, that's basically how this works and then you can see there's a 45% chance within Texas Louisiana Mississippi and Arkansas so there's basically a 50% chance of wind being reported damaging wind being reported within 25 miles of you so that's what we'd consider a moderate risk but we do have that 15 percent risk from texas up through tennessee back down through uh, alabama then we have our red area so that's going to be 30 percent and then again the pink region is 45 and we consider that moderate so be on the lookout because that's a really good chance at wind damage being reported now notice there's a hatched region there for texas and a little bit of louisiana there for our hail outlook I wanted to mention that because that's where we're expecting a larger size of hail or a more significant type of hail. Uh, so there's a 25% chance of a larger size of hail within this region. So this is where we're expecting kind of major hail uh, to be possible. And I think this is a 30% chance of that happening, maybe 15 if I'm, if I'm not correct. But I think it's 15 or 30% chance within that region of significant hail being reported. Uh, but we do have a 30% chance within that red region of 
hail in general, and that's what we'd consider an enhanced risk of hail. Within your 15% region, that's what we'd consider a slight risk of hail. Uh, anywhere in there, again, within 25 miles of you, there's a 15% chance of hail. Now, tornadoes, and this is my biggest concern for today, we do have a 2% risk, again, Texas up through Tennessee and back down through Alabama. 5% risk from Texas up through Tennessee, back down through Alabama. And again, this is for 25 miles from you, there's a 5% chance of tornadoes. And within your yellow region, the 10% region, that's from a little bit of Alabama through Mississippi into Texas and Louisiana. And then we have a red region, that's 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of you. So again, be on the lookout, tornadoes are, there's an enhanced risk of tornadoes today. And within your hatched region, that's where we're expecting a 10% a chance, or, or it might be a 15% chance, I keep getting these mixed up, but I think it's a 10% chance of EF2 to EF5 tornadoes within 25 miles of you and that was that's what we consider uh, significant tornadoes so it's really a dangerous day for tornadoes there is that the probability uh, a pretty good probability for major tornadoes so if you're within that hatched region or if you're in any of these regions in general be on the lookout but if you're in the hatched region especially just be really really on the lookout for for t tornadoes because there could be significant tornadoes coming to that area we already see a tornado on the ground in texas i was looking just before i started making this video there is a tornado on the ground in texas and it looks quite major so it does look like this could be a big tornado day uh, unfortunately. Now we're going to move on to day two and you can see there's a marginal risk from Pennsylvania down through all of the east coast down into portions of Florida and then westward into Alabama and then that goes all the way back up into the Ohio area. We do have a slight risk for Florida up through Pennsylvania in that yellow region and then in our orange region we have an enhanced risk for tomorrow. This could get upgraded to a, mar uh, a moderate but I don't think it will. I think this will stay an enhanced for Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. I think we're just going to stick with an enhanced risk and there will be reports of severe weather with this uh, considering it's an enhanced risk. Day three is going to be a little bit of a break. Again, this is going to be Monday. Uh, we're, we only have general thunderstorm risks. And again, we sometimes see severe weather reports in these, but not typically. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a break from all the severe weather action that's going to be happening before. And unfortunately, after this, it looks like we will be dealing with some severe weather as we're going to move on right now to the day five report. So this is for Wednesday, the uh, April 17th. We have a 15% chance of severe weather for Texas, up through Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, down through Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. These 15% chance risks usually become at least slights uh, once they move into the three-day um, period. So this is what we'd consider kind of like the long-range SPC forecast, which is the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, so they only give a 15 or 30% chance of severe weather uh, in the long range. So you can notice this looks a little different, but usually these translate to to slight risks at least uh, in the, once they get into the, because they, they only do the categorical outlooks within three days. So once this is day three, I think this will be a slight at least, but it could uh, upgrade to an enhance because like I always say with these, they usually tend to only want to upgrade. They don't like to downgrade these. So this will be a slight or an enhanced most likely. And then we see day six. So this is Thursday through Friday morning. And you can see Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and a little bit of North Carolina and South Carolina and Florida there. We have a 15% chance. So again, slight to enhanced within this region. And then even day seven for the southeastern United States, Maryland, D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and a little bit of Alabama there. Slight to enhanced in day seven. And this is pretty far out, so I think this will likely be an enhanced, but it's a little hard to say. But the fact that we see some potential for severe weather this far out tells me that probably this will be uh, quite the major event, kind of like what we've been having these last uh, two days and also tomorrow with this outbreak that's been moving across the southeastern United States we're gonna have another uh, event maybe not quite as bad but another similar event going on uh, late next week mid to late next week anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this long severe weather outlook I hope you enjoy this type of video I feel like these are very useful and I really enjoy making these they're not too hard to make and I feel like they're extremely useful so this is one of my favorite types of videos to make uh, so again leave your feedback for this type of video in the comments down below anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one have a great day and stay safe out there